let's say I wanted to determine uh, whether people preferred Star Trek to Star Wars. Okay. Now, what I could do is, in order to try and analyse some data, I could either get the data myself, or I could use some data that somebody has already collected. Maybe somebody's already done a questionnaire or has done some research into which of those two people prefer and have done that already and I can just use their raw data and then make uh, my own conclusions. Now there are benefits and uh, disadvantages to both of these. Okay. Firstly, if I go out and collect the data myself, this is then known as primary data. And if I've got to go out and do it myself, it is expensive in the long run. The fact is that I've got to come up with uh, the questionnaire myself. I've got to make sure um, I'm handing it out fairly, um, that I've, uh, I've made the questions up correctly, okay, so that there's no sense of bias. Um, and then I've actually got to actually hand it out to people and then collect it and then I have to analyse it. Okay, so it's a long-winded process. Much better if actually uh, I find that somebody's already collected this data uh, online, perhaps. Okay, and that's known as secondary data because it, it's like it's second-hand. The only problem with that is that I don't know in what way it was collected. Um, I had no control over that, so I don't know if it was collected fairly or not. And that is then an inherent problem, because maybe, although I'll be able to analyse the results, maybe the analysis that I then, or the conclusions that I come to, aren't quite correct. So there are benefits, there are advantages and disadvantages to both of these. Okay? but they're just two different ways of collecting the data.